Hello everybody. Um, it's an emergency um, energy report um, about what's going on right now, what the situation is. And if I'm you, um, I will bookmark this uh, report uh, because that report will be valid for more than a three years. Uh, it's pretty much almost uh, four years from now uh, will be still going on. And I will explain uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, we are right now in the beginning of a shift. And you feel the energy shifting. Something moves. Something uh, makes a shift. And uh, it's a shift from uh, the spiritual into the material. And what I'm talking about shift from the spiritual to material is the focus. It's your focus of uh, what you need to get it going. And all that comes in from uh, Uranus. And uh, I was talking about before that uh, Uranus, it's uh, that uh, line down with the bow on the bottom with the two kind of like uh, half moons all cross connected, which is the half moons there like uh, two locators on it, gets the energy from the universe and brings it down to you, brings it down to Earth. What's going on right now is that uh, we are on uh, preface of uh, Mercury retrograde right now. You already feel the, the tense energy of talk, of thinking, of communications, of something going on, shifting uh, on it. Specifically with people who have a uh, twin flame connection, it's a very intense because it's a big shift uh, goes from uh, uh, the spiritual world and coming down to the material world shift and uh, this uh, shift uh, I will try to explain it to you it is of uh, revision uh, overview of what you did uh, in the past uh, uh, almost uh, we're talking about uh, seven eight months of uh, spiritual work that uh, will be into uh, this uh, time when uh, Uranus will actually shift to becomes direct. And uh, when it becomes direct, you focus more on fixing your material problems, uh, fixing your material situation. And what I mean by that, fixing all this, is that is, uh, you were looking for a new job. You were looking for a new house, new place to live, uh, new way of uh, fixing your art uh, stuff. Uh, some of you will be focused on the material uh, things because when you focus on the soul part, kind of like you abandon your material world, now the focus will be backwards uh, with that shift. And uh, Uranus is going to focus you on the material world. And this shift, uh, it's happening inside of uh, Aries right now. And uh, talking about the Aries, it represents I am. So you do this part. You, you're you going to do this part yourself. And that's why it's this uh, tense energy. Because uh, Uranus is going to slow down, stop. And then it's going to be go ahead and move direct and uh, because right now it's moving retrograde so it's gonna stop and then it's gonna be turning back the other direction so we're gonna have this time of uh, shifting on it and Uranus is gonna be uh, a star coming down I mean slowing down uh, will be on December 12th and that is a, a few days coming up exactly on December 24th, uh, 25th, Christmas, Uranus will stop. That is going to be his stop point at 20 degrees 33 minutes. And he's going to be there for uh, 11 days on that 20 degrees uh, 33 minutes. And this is going to be that uh, intense uh, shift that's going to happen uh, during Christmas beginning the new year. Uh, this will trigger you to see what you need to look during the holiday time 
what you need to do in order to get in into the new year. Uh, this is going to be this uh, kick in of 2017 on it because the energy is going to bring anything. At the same time, Mercury is going to be a retrograde. So you will be uh, focused on the soul connection, but at the same time uh, acting uh, into the material world. So to keep on going, because uh, this uh, energy report, uh, it's going to be happening for a long time. Okay, specifically within areas and why it's so important to listen to this report till the end. Because this report is not about me. I know it for me, this report's for you. On July 21st, the Jupiter will slow down again. And um, uh, as a slow down, uh, which is going to be July 21st, the same day Mars will be entering Leo. And three days later, uh, the sun will be enter Leo. And we're talking about uh, there's going to be this intense energy of shifting. The king wants to be shifted again uh, within uh, a lot of fire. We're talking about there's going to be so much fire in July 21st, uh, beginning that transition period. A lot of you will be feeling this uh, fire energy of change, like you want to change. This time is going to be changed within the soul. You to go ahead and finally accept it. The triggers this I am a soul. And this is going to be a very powerful shift to the soul. And um, uh, Uranus, uh, not Jupiter, but Uranus uh, will be uh, um, again go back retrograde within uh, areas. And we're going to be focused again within the soul and it's going to be powerful, very powerful transition. So you're going to have the same tense energy that right now going on, but this time it's going to be from the material again into uh, the spiritual world. As I am, as I am. Um, and um, keep on going on this, uh, of it. Um, Uranus is going to be retrograde till January 3rd from year of now of 2018. So remember the dates. We're talking about January 3rd, 2018 and the 24th degree of Aries. And uh, he will become direct. So from here from now, we're going to be have exact the same shift again. To be focused again into the material world. And when he moves, uh, he's going to be moving into Taurus. In May 16, 2018, Uranus will move into Taurus. So it's going to shift from the material world about me to the material world about me and others which is what that Taurus is and uh, that uh, earth possessions to possess uh, uh, probably houses cars uh, to possess anything that you can think of uh, it's gonna be like up to the roof okay and what's gonna happen is though on November 7th uh, on August 8th I'm sorry um, Uranus uh, will become a retrograde so when he becomes a retrograde uh, this is August 8th 2018 um, he's gonna move back so when he moves back on November 17th Uranus will come out of Taurus is going to re-enter areas. And during this shift, we're going to have again that power. It's like, hey, you didn't finish your soul work. You haven't finished your uh, soul work within you. You have to go back and finish what you need to finish. So we're going to have this shift within the soul again. Back of I am. In order you to finish the work that needs to be done to it. If it's a work about you, uh, it's work about you. You have to have this soul evolution within yourself. And 
Uranus uh, will uh, stay in Aries till January 7th of 2019. Uh, that is going to be the day when he's going to become direct. On March 7th, Uranus will be, we're talking about March 7th, 2019, Uranus will re-enter Taurus and is going to be moving within Taurus to put the universe energy within the material world. You won't go back anymore to Aries. So those going to be, we're talking about, uh, right now it's 2016, 17, 18, 19. We're talking about, uh, um, those are the three years that uh, you going to be feeling the same shift that's happening right now quite a few times. And this shift is about you. You to go ahead and uh, do those changes. To find the balance of the soul and the material world of I am. And that's what this shift of Uranus is very important. Because once Uranus moves into Taurus and stays there, then it will, will become a retrograde on Taurus. And then we're talking about what's going to happen then. But this is, uh, we're talking about three years from now. This shift that's going to happen in the next three years, it is important for you to do your inner work. And what I mean by inner work, it's uh, you to solve the problems inside of you, to be honest about yourself, to be truth about yourself. Someone, uh, specifically about talking about the twin flames, this is gonna be a critical times because this is the, the years when they uh, have to be honest for themselves. And what I mean by honest by themselves is to remove that uh, face mask, to remove the shadow, and to be inside of Sam and say, yes, I love this person. I use my face mask and I like everybody, including myself, including uh, my inner self, my soul. I light my soul that I don't love this person. I light myself, I need to evolve of that. Uh, about the uh, people who are uh, with an energies, uh, we're talking about mediums and psychics. It's about for them to figure out the balance within the readings, to use the energies of uh, more look deep inside of the soul, not just to look at the face mask or the shadow. Look beneath the shadow, underneath. Look at it more deep, more deeper uh, to look into it. Um, about uh, the Reiki masters, the Reiki people, it's about uh, to go within the soul vibrations, healings. To produce not only vibrations with an energy and to heal with that, but to use the vibrations of the brain and the soul uh, to heal people more deeper, more permanent, more uh, throughout the vibration. About astrologers, we have to move into this uh, new way to accept that the energy enters from the universe, not just to focus of our planets, focus on to the earth. We need to focus more of what's going on outside of that. And um, about uh, the soul uh, connections and the soul evolution, uh, it's going to be a time for a lot of people, uh, a lot of uh, uh, inner work that's going to be done that, uh, okay, well, I'm stuck in the religion or I'm stuck in the spirituality, I'm stuck in this, I'm stuck in that, to move the next step, to move to the next stage, to move to up and up and up and to improve yourself. And that's why this report, I made it uh, right now, because this report will be affecting stuff for the next uh, three years. And if you make uh, your plans from now, look at deep inside of yourself what you need to change. You to get 
to your train stations to catch a train that is designed for you. You to get to the bus stop to catch the bus that is designed for you. Because that's what Uranus is. Uranus is the universe. And when Uranus is in Aries, it's I am the universe. So now you're working within the universe. And that's why those shifts uh, during these times, they are very important. They are very powerful and they are very important. And these shifts will happen quite a few times. So you need to look at uh, your inner work, how you do it. How you talk to yourself. And because right now it's going to be Mercury retrograde, use a Mercury retrograde uh, energy. Don't focus on your twin. I give you a big warning. Don't focus on your twin. Focus on you. Focus on you. Your twin, if they want to focus on you, they will focus on you. They will talk to you. They will contact you. If you're not, they... None of your business. Focus on you. When Mercury comes uh, direct, you will be focused again back uh, to your twin when you did your inner work. Now it's important in time you to see what you missed, what you gained, you to make your self-evaluation. Because that self-evaluation from now on can trigger you for the next two, three years. You can create a plan that you want to... Um, create a plan like a plan that uh, uh, let's say like my plan uh, number one I want to be happy number two I want to be with the one uh, number uh, three doing a dream house number four I want to have electric car number five help others to get what I got and on and on and on and on but the question is that uh, you right now have to make this plan for yourself not for me not for your twin flame, not for your soulmate, for you. You want to be happy. Write it down. Put it on a piece of paper, like, like this, and put it someplace where you see it every day. And that paper to remind you of what you need to focus on it. Because there is a shift and this shift will help you to do this. So from now on, this shift from spirituality to material world, it will help you to create a plan. While you're in a material plan, material, while Uranus is in direct, uh, and it's working its energy into the material world, you can focus on the material stuff. When it shifts, you can focus on spirituality to change the things the way you think, act and react as a soul. And then when it shifts again, you to do what you need to do again into the material world. Until you establish this balance and you learn, you understand how to control this balance in you. And then it's going to move again. And then when I move on Taurus, it's going to be like, uh, um, okay, see how it's going to feel where I'm on Taurus because you want to have possession. You want to focus on the possessions. You want to possess a good car. You want to possess this. You want to possess that. But you have to understand that uh, it's not only about material possessions. It's also for a spiritual possession. You haven't learned that part? I will go back in areas. I will stay in areas for a little bit. I will be there retrograde to finish the job in the soul. If you haven't finished this, finish it up. And then one, if he starts moving direct and get out of Aries and enter, re-enter Taurus, then Uranus is going to be focused again on uh, this uh, uh, earth material possessions on it. And if I'm you, I will keep that report handy to with the date so I can be looking at over and over again to see what I need to do, what I need to uh, gain to it. Thank you so much for watching this report. Uh, will be uploaded on YouTube shortly. Thank you so much. Be loved.